Hey, the word is out. Sugar causes cancer. There was a new article that just came out listing the top 25 things that cause cancer. You know, it had the usual stuff in it. Smoked meats, barbecued meats, smoking, all these things that are kind of obvious. But the number one thing now is sugar. There's new research that shows that sugar not only causes cancer, but it creates all the circumstances which make it easier for your body to get cancer and then develop it. And the article even went into the fact that sugar feeds tumors and causes them to grow more rapidly and just basically creates, again, the environment by which cancer can can really grow real fast and move throughout your body. So sugar does all these things. The fascinating thing about the article, though, was that the researcher, who was a Belgian molecular biologist, claimed that the new research shows that sugar stimulates cancer tumor growth and that it might lead to new diet therapies being developed for cancer patients. Now, I find this fascinating since that was the subject of a Nobel Prize given away in 1930. And so, what does that now make that 88 year? No, yeah, 88 years since then. Yeah. Long time. So, so, it's amazing how it's just starting to catch on. And basically, we have that diet already here. It's called the ketogenic diet. I used it to get rid of my cancer. Didn't take that long. Uh, it was amazing. I'm still amazed by the results. And that diet is available, but again, just like with this researcher who didn't know that, um, most people in the hospital or doctors you talk to don't have a clue about the ketogenic diet and how it works for cancer. So you have to educate yourself. Educate yourself. Go to sites like HerbWorks. There's some articles there. There's all kinds of articles on ketogenic diet on the internet. But start to educate yourself about what you might do in case that happens to you. Or better yet, educate yourself about diets now so that it doesn't happen to you. And so, anyway, the information's out there. Uh, cancer is a terrible thing, but a lot of it is preventable through diet, exercise, and especially from avoiding sugar and all the chronic illnesses that that one single chemical leads to in life.